Hey guys, a few just, you know, popping in to see what's going on. I am actually going to start making my, um, this, uh, great plate, plate fundraiser for, um, for, um, the quarry. So I thought I might just do these, you know, couple videos over the next, over the next couple of days or so till I get this finished. And, um, you know, have it set up so you guys can see me, see the process I use for actually hand building when I'm doing these works. Um, because last year I just painted and previous year I actually did a carved one, which is what I like and enjoy doing. It's actually carving a, you know, clay into the way I want or the design I want to be final. So, you know, what I do with these ones is just, I just, you know, especially with the plates, you know, because it's a specific thing, you know, it's specifically done for the quarry, it's not done for anybody else. They always want just one off pieces. Um, so it depends on, you know, I want to do a big one this year. Last year I did a small one uh, on a, you know, it was just a painting on a plate, with on a ceramic plate. Uh, you couldn't use it or anything. With this one, it's actually, you can use it. Um, it's a paper clay. Um, it's where they, I don't know the entire process of what happens with it, um, how they make the paper clay itself, because I'm, I've been out of the scene of clay and ceramics for so many, you know, probably two decades. Um, but I like the really cool way this, you know, the pliability of this clay, because it's just so soft. Um, there's no texture, hardly any texture to it. So, you know, it's almost like porcelain. Um, but the other thing is that I can play around with it. Um, and, you know, make it bigger, as you can see here. Let me just bring this down a bit, you know. Uh, so the size I want to go for this year is about this big. It's a dinner plate. So you can actually give it to people, you know, if you don't want to keep it or buy it for somebody else. You know, it could be a display plate. Um, plate. And so, you know, I just thought, of, for us, supporting something like the quarry that's been part of um, Whangarei for so many decades and it's done so much for so many different artists to get their work out um, to be displayed out there to get it sent around the world people because people from all over the world see these things um see that you know uh, take part in it as well sometimes um and so it allows for local um you know people like us myself and others to be able to have their name all over the world in the ceramics or whatever area you know that they're working i mean if you're working glass, if you're doing uh, woodwork, and if it's, you know, the whole thing is just a plate, the great plate, you know, and anything that you can, um, you consider to be a plate, it, um, it is, it is that, and you can use whatever material you want to use, you know, wood, like I mentioned, metal, plastics, uh, you know, even if you, you know, if you do without, you know, with the way technology is going, you could do a, um, design a, a um a digital you know i mean design a digital thing um sorry 3d plate and then have it actually uh made into a you know what is that called uh geez you know re out of resin maybe or even 3d um that's should use the paper but i don't like using paper that much on this because i know i'm just gonna um you know turn around and play with it and paper will get stuck to it Plast heavy plastic would be good, I guess, but I'm just using my um, table here um, that my mum gave to me a few years back because um, I needed a table to work on, and the one I had at the time was a bit bulky, and then she ended up finding this one from one of someone wanted the other one, and so I was like, yeah, let's get, get rid of the big one. We'll have this little one because I didn't have that much room to play around with, you know, to have a big table in. So... Um, yeah, so what I mean, yeah, so 3D printed plates, I mean, out of plastic, you do so much with it if you, you know, if you're so inclined to design something like that, it's such a cool, um, cool way to go. So it means that, you know, nobody's left out if you're an artist, you know, that sort of vein, even, you know, if you're designing something like that. Um, also, I mean, we've heard in the past people just draw something, if they're, you know, if they're painters or something, just do a painting as such, or, you know, if they're illustrators, they do something illustrating like that. And I think it's just, just good to um, support, um, you know, whatever whatever we can in the, um, locally. Um, 
and it's just a, such a fun way to be a part of the community as well seeing all the other people come out and enjoy it and see what you know what talent is in our community and what people you know who's doing what i should say you know um and what their styles are and you know and you never know people that might come and see their work one day might come back again some other day and say oh actually i quite enjoyed that um is there something can you do something for me i have a gift that i want to give out to someone and so on and we'll go from there now that's about that i'm just need to move on to the next stage which is where the plate i want to get the sizing off and this is just the first stage so there'll be another one tomorrow uh, just a quick little you know 10 minute videos as such so that you can see the process i work with because i know a lot of people work different ways the way i work with these is that i just um i like to prep it for a while i don't like to uh, you know clay is something that you just gotta you can, it's, it's such a cool material that you can just work with and work on and work on as long as you keep it um, moist and uh, wet to a certain degree so you know it allows uh, so much to be you know you can do so much with it um, let me just check here so as you can see there's a proper dinner plate <laughs> a good sized dinner plate and um, And then, so when it's finally done, when it's got to a hardened, hardened size where the moisture's gone out of it, and it, you know, I let it do its own thing because I'm busy with other stuff. And this one, you know, I try to get ahead of time, um, schedule these in ahead of time so I can start working on this and then go and work on something else and come back to it and then something else again so that I'm always, you know, so that I'm not bored and I'm always busy doing something creative in that sense. All right, so let's see how big I can get this. Okay, now that I've got the main thing here, I'm just going to get push it in. Let's just see, get the shape in, push it in, get my right thickness. That's what I wanted to do with the, um, you know, having the plate, um, you know, kind of planning, um, rolling it out. So I know the thickness is around about a centimeter, or just under, maybe eight mil, just over five mil, I'd say. That's for sure. Um, so the thickness is right for me to know that it's going to be all right when I go to do this that I'm not going to have too thin of a plate so um, or the other problem is where you have like thick uh, parts that are thick and parts that are thin and what happens is that sometimes that actually causes cracks in the kiln when you're baking and you probably know I mean I just finished baking a cake and I could see the cracks um, happening because um, you know the cake hadn't leveled out because I chucked everything in the middle because it was such a thick taut, chocolate taut, as they say. And um, so, and that, yeah, the house, the apartment smells of cake right now. So I've got that in my nose. But yeah, so if it's thick in one area and thin in another, yeah, it'll crack and it'll be useless, really. But um, there's an old Japanese um, tradition where, or is it Chinese, I can't remember where, you know, nothing, even cracked um, vessels. Um, can look really cool um, but for our thing here for this one here um, I'm hoping to you know have it all right um, pressed down and right thickness all the way around and then let it um, you know let it sort of um, harden up over the next couple of days get rid of the thing. getting in the thing there on the stones as they say um putting a bit of scratchy sounds which i do not like so yeah so once this is i mean i don't even mind it overflowing because i know i'll cut it all back to get my right size tomorrow once it's thinned up and then i'll begin carving it uh, i have I, I made up my own tools um because i'll because of my hand I, I can't hold um certain types of tools uh, for too long like the actual the handles it might be too thin sometimes or too thick so i made up my own tools using felt pens the vivid um, gray vivid pens that they have permanent markers and i used tent pegs <laughs> and my um my brother-in-law's tools um to make it work hammer and all that a couple of years ago and to make it sharpen it up and get it to the right um thing um so that I could have my own tools to work with because there's nothing like having the wrong tools to um, to try to 
do something and they don't work the right way or they don't have the right edge on them. And so I was able to make you know, about five tools with five different edges and I'll, you know, I'll pop them out tomorrow and we'll look at where, where this is, if it's ready for me to work on tomorrow from the next stage. Or if I need to, um, like, you know, spray some water on it to um, make sure that it has, um, you know, it's in case it needs more thickness to it, or if it's uh, too dry for me to work with. But yeah, I mean, at the moment because it's winter, it, it takes it's quite nice for to work with clay in winter because it, it takes a bit longer, especially if you if you're doing stuff like me, which is you know carving clay or building as we call it hand building and doing sculpture work which is what i class this is this is for me this is uh, ceramic sculpturing you know um i've always been into sculpture um uh, and you know so doing a plate is quite a quite a small thing for i mean sculpture wise it's quite small for me because i did quite a big ones back when i was at um when i was actually studying for the ceramic and so you know it's kind of um it's quite a um, quite a cool way to keep that going, but also it just means that um, you know, the other thing is that when you're doing big pieces of work, they're great to look at, but it's hard to sell, and not only that, it's hard to transport, and that's why people, you know, it's hard to actually um, move them around. I mean, especially right now, if you're trying to send out overseas or something like that, and if you're doing something like a ceramic piece or metal or wood depending anything with a bit of weight to it you know it, it's tough uh, all around because the buyer is going man it's going to cost me this but i'm afraid and this is going to be this so it's kind of um you know you got to kind of find what's you know if you're an artist you got to figure out what's the thing and if you're if you're just a painter and you do sort of um you know painting you can just basically you know roll it up and send it away and there's hardly much weight to it but if you're doing actually um sculptures and stuff like this um, there's a bit of weight to it and so you don't want to have it too heavy um, so I think it's having um, I think uh, with, with this in mind I guess um, a plate is great um, because um, you know with, with um, you know fractals and all that in mind and for collectors or whatever people who just uh, you know who, uh, philanthropists artists uh, admirers of your work and so on with that in mind, it actually helps, um, you know, having someone like, um, you know, doing something like a plate for a fundraiser because it means that, um, um, yeah, so it, it really helps um, keep the cost of that down and actually helps best with raising funds especially for you know because if you're going to have someone like overseas going man you know i really want to support something that's happening down in new zealand and the you know it'll be great but man it's going to cost me so much to get that over here um but having a plate size um you know piece of artwork um being a thin um, you know width wise like you know it's only about what five centimeters here high off the ground or whatever and, Final piece will be less, of course, but, you know, it's on the plate. So having that in mind, um, you know, it's a good thing because it just means it's going to be uh, cost-effective freight-wise. It's going to be beneficial to the fundraising um, and also to the artists. Of course, the artists will, you know, will have their work travel wherever the, um, they have fans of, you know, or people supporters, it's, you know. And that sort of, um, that sort of um, works you know or you know it's like a, it's a beautiful circle that, that way because you you're trying to support um the cause and the cause that you're working you know doing the piece for is actually you know you're able to do it in a, such a small space uh of you know air, you know piece of work i should say small piece of work and so that all you know in the end that sort of basically uh, allows for the work to go further afield um, traveling wise and also a money from money for the benefit um, you know fundraising or benefit of the place that you actually you know in this case the quarry it, um, yeah it really it's you know it really supports what's going on and I think I really think that's the that having 
having the quarry, whoever thought of the great plate was a great idea because it doesn't take too much of our time to do that. I guess a week or so, depending uh, what a piece is, you know, the works, work is this, I mean, work is being done for and so on. And also, you know, um, it's kind of, in a sense, it's, I mean, it, everything takes time. I know a lot of people think, oh, I can do that, I can do that, but it's all about time. It's all about time and how much time you have to do that. It's something that you're doing. Um, right now, I'm extremely busy, but um, I wanted to do this because I want to make sure that each year that I am, you know, doing something for the quarry, which I, you know, believe in wholeheartedly for what they do, and plus the support they give to the artists around, um, and then having this, you know, around Northland, New Zealand, whatever, um, because it's, you know, not everybody is going to have that same sort of um, quality of... Um, or skill or whatever and I think having something where you know you can actually be around other artists also um, doing things like this or doing other forms of art you know it's really good um, you know you've got um, Hamish O'Brien up there with a the temple vibe print up at the quarry there I mean you know they've, they've been a great supporter to um, to us at um, Punch all these years and he's back again to support again and, you know, all this is just saying, hey, man, you know, want to be, you know, it's basically just patting each other, um, not patting each other on the back, but just saying, yeah, I, want, I, I, I love what you've done for us and we're going to support everybody else as well. And that hopefully somebody will be able to um, get something out of us supporting them, um, supporting the quarry now, but they will be able to get something through that in the future. So I'm almost done here. I think. Um, I think they're pretty, uh, pretty good thickness all around. I think it's about three centimeters. I'm just going to make sure that nothing's gone too far over, because otherwise that I'll just have to cut it back tomorrow. Um, clean up the edges, because um, the cool thing is, like I said, this is this will dry in a day on its own. Uh, and I'll let it do it on its own because I want to have it, you know, not getting hard, I mean, not getting dry one area and not getting, you know, still being wet another area. If I just let it do its thing, it'll have a nice equal um, amount of dryness all around. You probably saw me put up the image here before, of what I'm doing with this one. I don't usually, you know, I've done that before, actually, to be honest. Yeah, I have. Uh, but um, I've put it up before, but it's just, it's, that's just for me to have a goal to aim at. And I do that with a lot of things. I just put up things like that. It just means that there's a goal I got to aim at. That's my vision. I'm trying to reach for uh, whether I achieve it or, or whether it changes. It's another thing. And normally it does. Art has a tendency with me. <laughs> um, I know it might be for other people as well, but especially with me to change um, because you know it's it's cool to change things around a bit when it comes to you know when you've got the idea first and then you just sort of work from there onwards um all right i think i'll leave it at that and we'll just let it you know let it dry off on its own and if it gets too dry in certain areas i'll just come and spray it with water um and i think that's it i'll just put a piece of uh, paper on top as well which will suck out uh, newspaper that is which will suck out the moisture as well from the top which will aid in the quickening of the dryness rather than you know keeping it slow on its own terms as much as I like to have it on you know, there is another part there but you know like I said I'd rather have it dry quicker than to be slow um, because because if I'm you know I'm more I'm kind of like trying to um, work at a timetable here, I mean, in a schedule where it's like I can just jump onto it whenever I feel like it and then I can go at it. But if it's too wet, then I've got to wait and i got to do something else. But I like I like to just be able to just go, okay, I feel like doing that now, let's go do that. And then hopefully it's ready to do that. But yeah, so half of the amount of clay that was actually given, so I'll probably just return this back. I'm sure somebody else would, would like to use that for whatever else. Um, but yeah. Um, We'll see you tomorrow or the day after or whenever I'm ready to, you know,
to jump on this again and carry on working. So I'm just going to put a piece of uh, newspaper on top. Probably have to jump outside and do that. And grab that. And then, yeah, that's that. And clean up my mess here. And we'll be back to it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.